coming out of Minnesota. Tom Thibodeau reportedly out as the president and head coach of the Timberwolves. According to the Minneapolis Star Tribune, Ryan Saunders looks like he's in the running to step in as the interim head coach. What do you think of that decision, 3D? I, I like it a lot. Um, obviously, you know, his dad kind of setting the way for him and being around the franchise pretty much his whole life. And I think Coach being young and, and understanding what Cat and Wig and this young team's about, Derrick Rose uh, is having a phenomenal year, comeback year, so to speak. He's been a part of that movement, working out with him on days off. So the question for me, Coach, is what advice can he reach out to someone like yourself to help him with in-game coaching decisions, things of that nature, but being able to relate to the players, knowing the system, I think he's ready for it. First of all, we have to realize that they fired – one of the top five coaches, in my opinion, in the NBA. Mm -hmm. Tom Thibodeau is a teacher. Mm -hmm. He's a game coach. He wins basketball games. Uh, so to make that decision, something was going on that we obviously don't know right now. Uh, the relationship with Saunders and the owner is the father connection. Flip Saunders was a very, very loyal person to the owner. Mm -hmm. And the owner, I think, always appreciated it and will never forget some of the things that Flip did for him along the way. I know this. Flip made him an awful lot of money mm -hmm. at one point on one major decision that he had to make. And the owner, I don't ever think, is going to forget that. Right. And as a result, he's seen his son pay the dues. He respects what the son has done, respects the son and father, and therefore he's given him a chance. Well, according to the Minneapolis Star Tribune, their source on, uh, their source on Ryan Saunders being who Glenn Taylor wants as the, uh, the head coach long term. So he's hoping that he can earn that spot. But we also have reports uh, from multiple sources that Fred Hoiberg is in consideration for either the GM or the head coaching spot. So we're hearing two names out there. It's interesting because Fred Hoiberg was in Chicago following right. Tom Thibodeau now, could possibly follow him in Minnesota. And they have Scott Layden still, I believe, yeah, Scott still, still, being still there. And, and Scott Layden gets along with everyone. Yes. Remember his pedigree, his background, coming out of that San Antonio program, a lot of people were after Scott Layden. So I think Scott Layden, I hope Scott Layden's given a chance. If they bring Hoiberg in, can Layden and Hoiberg work, work together, together in the yeah. front office? Yeah. That'd be something to look at. Certainly a situation that is just now developing in Minnesota. But as we see this, you see Tom Thibodeau, like you say, a great coach in the league. Why make this move now at this point in the season? Well, obviously, we don't know exactly what's going on behind closed doors, but to Coach's point earlier, the way our league is going, Cat has a direct line to the ownership. We know Wiggs just signed his new contract. Most of us around the NBA were saying to ourselves, what's taking this team so long to be further along when you look at Denver and other young teams who are winning and playing top-notch basketball? Lately, they're 5-3. and three, They're playing good. Cat's playing out of his mind. Maybe they wanted to pull the trigger now, Coach, to get ready for maybe some more trades possibly before February.